Welcome to Prison Architect. Today we're going to be starting a brand new prison and checking out the new DLC that just launched, just called Prison Architect Second Chances. Now this isn't a sponsored video or anything, but I did receive a key to this DLC for free, but I figured what better time to jump in and play Prison Architect again than now. Plus also we didn't play the last DLC, which was the uh, uh, going green, which we can like have farms and stuff and grow your own food. So we can probably check that in there as well. Now, something cool that I actually added is you can actually change the colors of the uniforms. Ooh, salmon, <laughs> velvet, ooh, velvet. I wonder if it's made of velvet. That'd be comfy. Purple, lime. I'm gonna go sand and high security is gonna be burgundy, gruel. <laughs> Minimum can be eggshell. Uh, I, I, there's, I have literally no reason to change these other than because we can, and that's why I'm doing it. All right, protective custody can be slop. I love these color names. We have slop, we have acid. <laughs> they can be slop. Supermax, I don't know that I'm gonna have any supermax, but they can be pink. Death row, uh, probably also not gonna do death row. They can be storm, and then criminally insane can be maroon. There you go. All right, uh, I don't, yeah, there's no new wardens with this particular DLC. I'm just gonna go with the standard one. There was a botanist and an ecologist, I believe, from the last DLC though. But I'm just gonna go with the standard one, and I'm gonna leave the dogs as a classic because they still don't have any chow chows in here. So we'll stay as classic. All right, so as far as our map and settings, let's go medium. I'm gonna give myself a little extra money. I'm gonna turn fog of war off. I'm gonna turn forests off. Uh, that does give you a little bit of money if you chop them all down at the beginning, but it also kind of wastes a bunch of time. Uh, we will have failure conditions. I'm not gonna do gangs or, yeah, I'm not gonna do criminally insane. So I feel like we did that last time and I wasn't very good at it. So I'm just gonna leave that out, especially because there's so many new features as well. But dynamic reputations can gain or lose unique reputation traits. Sure. Events, that's always fun. Weather and temperature, you know what? Let's do it. Staff needs, ooh. Nah, I don't wanna do that. Escape plans. Now I'll tell, they will attempt to climb over your walls. Yeah, we'll have that. All right, cool. I think that's pretty good. So let's have a look here. Every time I play this game, so much has changed. I remember the good old days of them never adding anything to this game. <laughs> now, now there's always new stuff. So I guess let's go basic detention center grant. So we'll build our basic prison uh, and the administration center. So we'll just get those two to start off with. Let's say green energy goals, which is not from this DLC that just came out. But that's also new. Yeah, so there's a bunch of um, this whole, I think this whole reform menus change. At least it doesn't, I don't remember it looking like this. And there's a whole bunch of new programs and stuff, which we don't have yet anyway. So let, let's build our prison. So I'm going to have a reception like this. I'm just going to build it. I'm also going to move those rooms of deliveries. Hang on. Uh, so if that's my reception, so you'll sort of come in straight here. You go straight into the prison. Deliveries, I guess I'm just going to put next to this for now. Seven by eight. And I'll do the same with garbage. Seven by eight. All right, so let's just, uh, I want them to build this real quick. Oh, I should probably turn off uh, prisoner intake, actually. <laughs> oh yeah, this is also new. I believe this is in the free update. You can actually change the arrival time, which is kind of cool. So it doesn't have to be 8 a.m. It could be at any time that you want, which is kind of cool. So if you wanted them coming in at 3 a.m., you could do it or at night time or something like that. Uh, pretty cool. Anyway, we're not doing that right now, so let's not worry about that. Okay, so... Ooh, they have new filters up here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Can I scroll? Oh... Remember last time we played this and the scroll wheel didn't work? Wow. Ooh, they filtered by DLC. Oh, that's it. Oh, okay. There's no new objects and second chances. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, I need walls and doors. Here we go. Ooh, look at all these things. Double staff door. Oh, that's new. Double door. I mean, I don't know if it's, again, I, I don't know if it's from this DLC. Oh, door secret. Oh, <laughs> cool. All right, well, I guess it's just the front of the... Prison. Should we just have a double visitor door? No, we'll have a visitor entrance. This will be just a jail door. I feel like I should have made that a little bigger. I'm gonna make it that much bigger. All right, anyway, so that's gonna be that. So what do I actually have to build? Holding cell, yard, and shower, and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna have that like this. Then it's gonna come into this area, and this is gonna be a yard. It's gonna be 16 meters long. I'm gonna make it taller. It's gonna be probably like three on top. Three on bottom. So what's that? That is 17 by 14. Sure, we'll go with that. And then on top of that here will be 
maybe canteen and then we can have like a kitchen and stuff like attached directly to where the deliveries is it's a bit long maybe just here we'll just do like that and then this section here oh maybe that could be a visitor entrance although hang on where's that going <laughs> it's like where's that going just into the yard unless this has like visitation and stuff in this building maybe we'll do that maybe i'll do a wall here a wall there. All right, so I'm going to let them build this. And then this is going to be maybe at some point visitation. Then I'm going to build the same thing down the bottom here. So how, how big did I make that? 16, 21 by 10. All right. So we do another one there. Okay, so maybe this is like the canteen down the bottom or the vice versa. I don't know. We'll do the same thing top and bottom and then we'll figure it out. That's my plan. And same wall here. All right, so that's my reception, which we don't even really need. We just put that in because I wanted it. The reception will be there. We'll fit that out soon. Then, okay, let's the stuff we actually need, like holding cell. Maybe we could do in one of these directions, you sort of go through to a holding cell. Ooh, there's a barred wall. I feel like that's been in there for a while and I probably said that same thing last time. Okay, so I'm going to get a large jail door that's also going to go here from the reception so they can walk through it now because otherwise at the moment they have to walk all the way around. Right, so what we're going to do, I guess I'm going to decide if the top or the bottom is going to be kitchen and canteen. Because what we can do is then have staff door straight to deliveries and to the... Oh, there's one of those little note things. Hang on. Clicking. Sweet. Staff door here. Now, that in itself is pretty insecure. But my plan is we could have a guard. So maybe it'll be fine. And also if we do road gates and stuff as well. But uh, it'll probably be fine. I, it'll probably be fine. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to do, this will be our kitchen, which I guess I'll do four wide. Yeah, let me do a wall there. All right, so the deal is, obviously I have no lights or power station yet, which I'll do in a second. So the kitchen workers can go there and they get deliveries right there, right? That's pretty good. Now, there's three staff doors and then currently any prisoner that was in here could get out. So I'm thinking we should probably make that more secure. But let's focus on other stuff first. <laughs> let's go somewhere else. So we're going to go to a jail door there, a jail door here. And then this will have our holding cell and I guess the initial, maybe even the common room could be in this building. No, maybe I should change some of these. Maybe I should change these two doors. Hang on. I'm going to dismantle these. I don't like having just two staff doors there. <laughs> I feel like that's not a good idea. Okay, I need to get some power in this place. So maybe let's... um build now if we have events on it means our power station can blow up so maybe we should build it a little bit further away now if i'm not mistaken is it seven by seven that you need because the power station is like the, yeah yeah so seven by seven i'll do this a little bit further away from this hmm maybe here yeah let's go up here. let's just build it up I, I if we just build it up there somewhere it'll be fine is there like a secure wall derelict yeah let's get a derelict wall then we'll do a staff door there and then we'll get our utilities in this room i guess i should probably keep the <laughs> the water pump away from this that can blow up and start fires i don't know maybe maybe it's a bad idea all right let's get some lights in here because i don't have uh auto light i actually turned auto lights off because i find it a little annoying okay so we're gonna bring this cable straight down through the main building um i guess i could just drive it through like that as well bring this down run it into this building all right flooring let's go concrete oh wait paving stone is that cheaper no they're the same what's paving stone look like Let's try that. I'm going to put it over these areas. Yeah, it's all right. All right, so the yard, I'm going to just do it with that as well. No grass in the yard, just paving stone. Uh, I'm not quite sure what they're walking all the way around. I guess they just feel like walking through doors is too difficult. <laughs> Guys, this is so inefficient. What are you doing? All right, let's build the... Let's actually build some rooms here because we'll get some money if I complete this. Let's do a canteen and a kitchen. This is going to be this area up here. This is canteen and kitchen. So kitchen and canteen. Uh, This will just be just a door. Yeah, I'm just going to go door. I have a door there and a door there and a metal detector at both those doors. And I might as well get it on the way into the prison as well. Probably makes sense. And maybe through here to the kitchen because deliveries can have uh, contraband in them. So I'll, I'll scan those there as well. Drag out areas in the water to generate a random island. Oh, that's awesome. Too bad we don't have any water. I don't, I don't know why I just tried it on the ground. All right, uh, let's get... I guess I... Oh, I oh, water. Oh, look at all this stuff. Sweet. No, let's um get the objects. So <laughs> what we actually need to do. Oh, fan. Sweet. Well, let's get a serving table. Oh, I didn't... I built this room at a really awkward size, didn't I? But if we do two like this... Let me go table. No, I hate that. I hate that. <laughs> all right, let's run some cable to all of these... Um, metal detectors as well otherwise they would be pretty useless all right i just made this room one bigger because I, I couldn't handle that uh serving table not being in the center of this wall 
All right, so concrete wall there and then staff door back up top. I guess I probably actually shouldn't have staff doors for the kitchen because actually, you know what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't, no, no, don't put that door there because we're probably going to have our prisoners working in there because that's a whole, that's a big part of the uh, second chances DLC is the working and, and the jobs. Obviously, kitchen's already always been there, but one of the new things is down here, restaurant and bakery, and you can actually build a restaurant that the public, oops, I don't know if I just removed something. The public can come and eat at the restaurant. Oh, they can go to the bakery and buy your baked goods. So we'll have to, that'll have to go somewhere, <laughs> this derelict wall. That'll have to go somewhere that's easy for the public to get to. So maybe like it could be in this building later on or if we just have, we've got plenty of space near the road. So we'll have to have a look at that. Maybe down here somewhere. But I think uh, that's good. That's That's got some good potential. There's also the, all the farming stuff as well that we've got in here too. Oh, farming field, sweet. All right, let me complete these rooms so I can actually <laughs> earn the money for this grant. Hmm, it's a pretty small canteen for 32 prisoners. I mean, I, I guess it's, it's a nice starting point. You know, we're starting small. We're going to build up. We'll get a couple cookers. You know what, we'll get three cookers and then I have to get four if I'm going to do two fridges. Sink in there and then we'll get a little bin there. And then, okay, the doors, yeah, I'll just do regular doors. Definitely another reason we want security doors or like uh, secure doors here. I guess I could actually use secure doors, but eh, jail door's fine with me. Oh yeah, let's get some lights in here too. All right, plumbing down to here. Oh yeah, this heating thing. So do I need, um, hot, oh yeah, I guess I'm going to need hot water and all that stuff, aren't I? Maybe I shouldn't have done the weather thing. <laughs> I forgot about all that stuff. So hot water boiler. Where's water connection? Can this go? Maybe I put in here. I don't know how many of these I need. Oh, my large pipe can't go under the power station. All right, fine. I'll go around it. Oh, you know what? I guess the boiler probably has to be closer to where we're actually using it. That probably makes sense, right? So if I have a look, how do I view like temperature stuff? Maybe I need a, maybe I actually need to progress in my prison here. <laughs> uh, wait, I need a fridge. Didn't I get fridges? What's this? Fridge slash, what is this? That's a fridge, isn't it? Failed. Fridge slash tall fridge. Uh, right there. Wait, did I mess? Oh, maybe I messed up the kitchen. Hang on. Let me, uh, oh yeah. You know, earlier when I was like, did I accidentally remove something? Yeah, I removed part of the kitchen. Fair enough. I think I might have, did I remove part of the canteen? All right, so that's okay. So yard, uh, which will be built as soon as this is like sort of enclosed. I think what I would like to do is go for a wall that is four meters long. On, at the end of both of these buildings. So we le basically leaving a gap for where I can build pathways later on. And then I'm gonna build a building like here, which will probably be the cells. Well, actually, I don't know how big it's gonna be. You know what, let me, let me plan this. <laughs> I kind of want them to have nicer cells, you know, like a slightly bigger than the, the two by three, you know, maybe a three by three cell, you know. We're going luxurious in this prison. I'm gonna have a two wide hallway and I'm gonna give them their own showers. Oh wait, I have to actually build a shower block though. That's kind of annoying, but I guess we'll just build one and then remove it. So I can have six, oh, sorry, 32 prisoners in here to start off with. Okay, so if I did this, right? So that's like one table's worth of prisoners would fit there. That's pretty good. So how big is that? 12 by 17. All right. And that's going to be 12 by 17. So we leave a two wide gap in the middle. I mean, that actually works pretty well. And then I'm thinking this is going to be, we'll have the holding cell in here. And then probably this could be the, uh, the canteen, the common room sort of area, or at least the first common room area. I do kind of feel like these, maybe this hallway in the middle should maybe be a bit bigger though. Maybe I should push these cells out a little bit. Maybe go to there and then get rid of these two. So like that. And then actually maybe this would just be the common room here instead. And then we can use that for, you know, the whole holding cell and, and all that kind of stuff. Um, I quite like that. I don't know if this would be inside though. I guess it would be if I'm gonna make it a common room. The problem with that is then to get to the next section, you'd have to go through. I guess we can, ch you know, we can change and adapt as the prison grows. Now, how much is this gonna cost me to build? Oh, that's bulldozed. Concrete, 10,000, I can afford that. All right, let, while they're building that, uh, let's build, well, let's, I guess, plan out this area here. So you're gonna come in through here. All right, and then there's gonna be a little hallway. This is gonna be a holding cell. Next to it is gonna be a really tiny shower block just to start off with, because I need to have it, which by the way, shower. There's no size requirements, that's good. That'll be like that. This will be a holding cell. And this will be basically just the showers for the holding cell, I'm thinking. And then maybe we just have another door here or something like that. So it's pretty secure on the way out. I mean, currently the easiest way to get out of the prison is probably to go through the kitchen. <laughs> just walk out the front door. I might build some, maybe build some road gates or something at the front. Uh, we'll have to have enough guards stationed around, you know. Okay, I'm, I'm cool with that. And then this will be a common room area as well as that one. At least to start off with, and that will probably change. And then the administration building, I think maybe we should just put it near this sort of derelict building. Or maybe back here behind the canteen. 
<laughs> Why did I build it out of this? Uh, I don't know. We'll figure that out. All right. So this area here, concrete walls. You know what? No, no, no. We're going to do a barred wall. <laughs> yeah. And then we'll have like a singular jail door there. So it looks like a nice big barred wall along the front. And let's prioritize this because I want this bit built first. Oh, that looks so good. That's so good. I love that wall. Cool. All right. So I'm going to go for a bench in the holding cell. A little toilet. That's all we need, right? And then the shower block. I'm going to even give them, you know, a little bit of space. Look at that. Shower, pillar, sink. Oh, they have a sink and mirror. Dang. Look at that in there. And then, wait, and there's a bathroom. Oh, there's a bathroom sink too. But the sink and mirror seems better. There's also a hand dryer. <laughs> Put it all the way over there. All right, so drain. I definitely need it here in the shower block. Probably in there is fine. And once this building here is built as well, that will actually constitute a yard. What happened to all the paving that I was doing in here? Did they just give up on that? Or did I can't? I think I might have right clicked at some point. That's usually what happens. I probably right clicked and cancelled it all. Oh yeah, the plumbing. So plumbing, uh, I guess we'll just bring this straight down. And then, oh, we're going to have to do all this water boiler stuff too. <laughs> Otherwise it's going to be really cold. So I guess we're going to do a boiler down the bottom of this cell block and maybe one at the top. So that'll heat the water for those cells. And maybe one here for this block. I'm not really sure how this works. <laughs> like, I'm not really sure how we're going to do this. So big water pipe, I think. Is that connecting to this? I, I, oh, maybe. Oh, yeah, I think it is connected now. Okay. And then I have a small pipe to there. Now, where do hot water pipes have to go? Is it just to... Oh, yeah. It's, okay. It's just like showers and stuff. Okay. So then that'll go to the showers. And then, yeah, we'll do the other ones once they're ready. Oh, the sink also needs hot water. All right, put a boiler there again. I should just put it there in the deliveries area, I guess. So just, oh, it has to be fed like huge water. Oh, it also needs electricity. Oh, I guess that makes sense. <laughs> I guess it makes sense. Of course it needs electricity. How would it heat the water? Oh, wait, no, I think, oh, I don't think I needed that big pipe. Oh, well, whatever. I feel like, is there like radiators or something for heat? Oh yeah, there is. So I think this will also heat up, but I don't, I can't, I don't know what the heat map is at the moment. So I'm going to have to figure that out. I think once we get all the other stuff in, that'll probably help. So I'm going to do a large jail door there just so that can get built. And I'm going to take the water pipe to there and we need the electricity as well. So that can run through this building and join to that. And then I'm going to have a few extra connections just as, you know, redundant connections to the electric grid and then water at the top as well. So I need it, the yard and the holding cell. Holding cell. Oh, I made it too small. Damn it. <laughs> Okay, I need to... I forgot about that. I guess I should get a radiator in here as well, maybe. But right, now that the holding cell is actually valid. It's the right size. I suppose they could use some lights as well, maybe. Okay, so is that how the radiator works? Let's have a look. I just, yeah, plumbed in some hot water. It seems to be on. Um, I don't think I can see the weather stuff yet still. All right, so build two offices, hire a ward, uh, accountant, and all that kind of stuff. So I guess let's figure out, I guess we could either do this, I guess it doesn't need to be um, common room, because that's kind of what I was leaning toward, but it could just be offices in here. So what do they need to be, four by four, like that size? No, it's kind of an annoying size, actually. <laughs> it doesn't really fit in this building. Mm, maybe not. Maybe, so they come down here, and I'm going to leave that gap again, the four by four, so this could be a pathway to to here and then maybe we could fit like restaurants or something in. Maybe we could get, or maybe this should just be like where the offices are. So you come down, there is that water boiler there, which I'm actually gonna have to move now. I'm gonna put it over here. Um, and then if this was just the building, so the four by four, we can actually move them over to, and that kind of lines up nicely with that wall. So we're gonna have this little hallway here. And that means we can continue this larger walkway that we have going through further down. So this can be the building here. So I'll just do a wall there. So this is all outside. And then we're going to go for some doors. And we use staff double doors. So this will just be a staff only area at the moment down to where the administration building is. And I've got to fix my pipe. The pipes down here are so messy. <laughs> Maybe I can clean it up. Hang on. Gonna, I'm just going to clean this whole area out a little bit. All right. So now that we've got this little uh, building down here. This is where the offices will be. So I'm just going to build, I guess, like this. And then we need office desk. I have one there. This one can go there. You know, make them each a little bit unique. And we got the office chair there and to there, there and there. We need filing cabinet. We can each have those. And then that should be enough for all those offices to be built. And then I got to hire a bunch of people. I've been kind of putting off the hiring. As you can see, the place is really filthy too. I've been putting it off because it's just going to cost me a bit of money. So I need to actually hire two cooks so they can, I guess, go in the kitchen. We need to hire two guards and we need to hire a warden. I guess he doesn't have an office yet because it hasn't been built. Ah, oh, farmer. And we need to hire bureaucracy. Wait, the, the, no, no, no. Sorry. Hire an account. We have to unlock finance through bureaucracy. All right, let's go finance and then, well, really everything. So <laughs> let's see. Micromanagement. I do like that. But let me just do, let's just go one step at a time. Let's 
get this office built, please. Let's do this one first. There you go. So now we can work in there. Oh, and I guess we can take another grant, which I'm going to go ahead and just take the... Oh, I was going to say cell block A, but we actually need finance before we can unlock cell block A. Um, so a lot of these kind of don't make sense to get right now. <laughs> Reduce the reoffending rate to 30. Wouldn't we technically not have a reoffending rate yet? What's my reoffending rate? Average reoffending rate, 100%. Okay, let's not take that grant. I was, was going to say, if it was zero, maybe we could take it. All right, well, let's, let's just get finance. I guess while we're getting finance, maybe I should build this room. Office, desk, table... And chair. Oh, there's a table. Oh, that sounds nice. Whoa. Okay, that's a little too nice for this uh, for this room. Let's get a few tables. This is where they can dump all the stuff and they're strip searched. I'm going to the office desk. I have it right here at the start. And just a little chair. And I'm going to have benches as... Oh, no, just one bench. I guess I can have another bench there. A bench is there and then a small table. No, that looks weird. Just the two big tables. Maybe I'll move that bench. Put the bench there just so it lines up with that one. There you go. Nice little reception area that you come in and get searched and all that. All right, so they're researching finance. That's good. I guess I should probably... I mean, I can start building these cells. There's no reason I can't. What I'm going to do, let's build one of them. Build this one here, and then we'll just clone them. So what I want to do... So I actually want... Yeah, I want these to be a little bit nicer. Can I just, like, filter by work exercise? Why? It, mm, rest? I think there should be just a filter for cells. All right, so that'll be my cell. Actually, you know what? I want this front wall to be... The barred wall, because it looks cool. Oh, it doesn't look as cool when it's sideways. <laughs> but we'll know it's there. Oh, comfy bed. Yeah, I'm going to give him a comfy bed. You can get a comfy bed. We'll get a light in the middle. And they're each going to obviously have the toilets. Uh, not a lot of privacy in here, but you know, it is prison. So <laughs> I guess it's the way it is. So the toilet maybe can go here and over the other side. Hmm, yeah, those bars do not provide much privacy. Over the other side, be the shower and drain and then a chest of drawers dang <laughs> they could have books maybe books are good oh that's not books books are good or what's the other like the stereos and stuff you can add too right have a tv have a tv I don't, can they watch a tv in their cell proof cell is great yeah all right have a tv <laughs> do they need a chair to watch it or could they just stand up i guess we could give them heating each cell can have its own heat. Oh, does it? Can you overheat them? Maybe I won't do that right away. Radio. I think I have a sink and mirror as well. Actually, hang on, I'll move this. There's a sink and mirror next to the toilet. I have a TV. Do you know what? Hang on. I'm gonna move that. Hang on. Hang, no, hang on. I don't want. I don't want that. I'm gonna move the drain here. Move the shower there. So this is, you know, the bathroom wall, and then the TV will go there when that's moved. All right. TV will go at the end of the bed, facing the TV. So you can, you know, lay in bed and watch TV. That'll be sweet. And then, maybe books instead of a radio. I'm hoping this water does not flood. Because <laughs> that'll be annoying. I don't really know how this works anymore, so we're just going to go with that. And then the floor. Okay, well, I, 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 I can't no, I can't really afford a nice floor right now. Let's not do that. But we're going to start off with this as their cell. That's pretty good. All right, so what I'm going to do is going to run... Uh, well, the power's already there. I guess we're going to do all the water. I guess we're going to need the large pipe running through the prison. Maybe up the back here on this side. Yeah, so it comes down this middle bit. How does that water flow work if the loop? I wonder which way the water will flow. Because <laughs> if it's joint, you can see it's all flowing in one direction to the end. But then where does it go? All right, so we do have finance. So let's get an accountant. You can go in there. There you go. And let's go ahead and take cell block A. Maybe health and well-being. Actually, it could be a good idea. So we, because we could get the ward and stuff in here. Actually, is maybe a good idea. So the ward, build a medical ward and hire two doctors. So oh, I require health. Right, health. All right, let's just research that one now. Oh yeah, suppose I should put a door on this cell. Okay, water in. All right, how much is this gonna cost? Oh, hang on. I don't know. Uh, no, no, no. This way to build. Estimated price three hundred twenty. That is not accurate. It's gonna be more than that as soon as I buy everything. <laughs> I don't like how the, the estimated price of cloning is very inaccurate. All right, let's just build these and see where we end up. Now, yes, it is unnecessary to build such luxurious cells, but we're gonna do it because our inmates deserve it. I need some double doors to this building, so we're gonna say maybe I don't know, just there, sure. All right, so then once we do eventually have the infirmary, which is 74%, that'll go into this area just here. Okay, and get orderlies. Now, is there a thing where I can see temperature? Maybe it's micromanagement. Let me get micromanagement. I don't know if that's what I need, but I feel like I need something. All right, infirmary. It doesn't say how big it has to be, but I think we could probably just put it in here. So maybe like that size. We should hire doctors. Yeah, thanks, buddy. <laughs> so smart. Oops. There and there. And then I guess just a wooden door, right? Medical bed. Do so like four. And then I need to hire two doctors. What a waste of money. Why is my accountant letting me spend all this money? Oh, and I need a psychologist as well. Why is an office? We got a psychiatrist. And how do I get a psychologist? You require psychology. Ah, fair enough. 
<laughs> all right, this is all looking pretty good over here. So let's get all these pipes plumbed in as well. Now, will this rotate nicely, do you reckon? I mean, it looks like it did. Why is this block? Oh, uh, because the uh, I'm trying to clone a sink and there's no wall to clone it onto. Maybe that's why. So maybe I clone the, do the middle one and then do the other two afterwards. Logistics, yay! Now, let's see. Ah, oh, temperature, here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is 20 degrees. Wow, is that heating this whole place at 20 degrees? Dang. <laughs> Okay, yeah, this building is 11. Okay, so it doesn't, it honestly does not take much to make sure our place is nice and warm, which is good. Very, very good. So I definitely don't need uh, radiators in every single room. So clone the cell there and clone the cell there. And then I guess let's get all the pipes in here as well. Which annoyingly, I probably should have just built the cell opposite so I didn't have to do run the pipes like this, but it is what it is. Oh no, I've not run the pipes the same way. Hang on, cancel this way, then that way. I guess I should maybe just join in the middle. Otherwise it looks kind of silly. Yeah, there you go. Beautiful. Oh, and then let's get a radiator actually. So this will just go like here. Oh yeah, I got to do the hot water too. Well, the radiator's there. So if I run a hot water pipe up here, hopefully this will reach all the showers. All right, window, very window classy large. Now my question is, is there any sort of security concern with windows? Are they purely decorative? <laughs> I guess we should do a classy glass window. Yeah, I can only really have small windows. Otherwise they don't center. So, but we can, oh, they can't have one there. That's annoying. But you guys can have each windows in the middle of your cells like that. And then this one will just have to be a little bit off. So it'll just go there, face the, uh, the yard. There you go, each have windows. That's very nice. All right, so now I should be able to hire a psychologist. There we go. And the problem with that is I think this one actually needs to be accessed by prisoners, so I might have to put them somewhere else, but that's all right. Okay, so let's get another grant. Could do visitation rights. So aren't we gonna have visitors somewhere? Yeah, we haven't really planned that out. <laughs> oh yeah, we don't have a staff room or anything. Well, let's do prison maintenance, because that's another sort of essential thing. I wonder if we could just open the prison and start running it now. Like it's so bare bones, but I feel like we could do it. So we have what, eight cells nearly? Because I don't want to spend a million years building all this and we don't get any prisoners, you know? Let's go fill capacity, fill to six at 8 a.m. Okay. All right, so we're gonna take have an intake tomorrow, which is definitely a risk. So let's get some of this stuff done. So we're gonna get maintenance -y cleaning. We don't even have cleaning? Okay, let's get cleaning. Oh, that's after maintenance. All right, we definitely need maintenance. <laughs> All right, I should probably get some more guards in this prison too. So what I'm gonna do, let's get at least two more. And then, okay, so food distribution. Okay, everyone goes there, that's fine. Room quality, pretty good. Nine, look at that. Why is this one only six? No window, oh, they haven't built it yet, fair enough. Um, Prison labor, that's good. Oh, I can't do deployment. Assign, you require, oh no. I don't have anything, I don't even have a Okay, we gotta get that too. <laughs> uh, I guess I could turn off, well, let's just see how we go. You know, no, no, let's just go, let's just do it. Let's see what happens. I got $40,000, we're losing money now because of the staff I have had to hire. So we may as well get prison prisoners in here to help us out, you know? How are my cells? Let's have a look at my cell grading. All nine. I mean, that's beautiful. Out of 15? Oh, it could be better. Oh, if I added like a, if I give them a pet bird? I'm giving you a pet bird. What the heck? Temperature. It's actually pretty good in that, but I think that's just because their weather is not too cold. Oh no, I do have the radiator. No, it's all good. So at the top is a little cold. The canteen is also kind of cold. Maybe we should get some radiators in some of these other rooms. So let's get one of the canteen. Uh, I'll put it there. And we'll get one of the reception as well. The hot water, we have it here. So I put, oh, I really should have put the, oh, hang on. No, no, would have made a lot more sense for the radiator here. Cause that's like directly in line with the hot water boiler like that. And then the other one was where? Yeah, I should have put it there. Right. And that goes to there. So this hot water does reach all of those showers, which is really nice. Okay, so that should also help those temperatures in those buildings once those pipes are placed. Yeah, there you go. So 19 degrees there. Oh yeah, and now it's heating up the whole room. So that's good. It's a little little chilly over that side, but really not too bad. I feel like they did not build the pipes that I set here. Oh, it has to go one further. <laughs> okay, it's like right there. All right, how's all that research going? Security, oh, we're doing that. Okay, then we need to get cleaning. I need a foreman, don't have one, great. Okay, let's get a foreman. I'm not ground. Okay, we also yeah we also need groundskeeping. All right, groundskeeping. We definitely need prison labor, but we may have to wait for that. Should probably also get the extra grant. That's probably also good. All right, education also important. You know, there's a lot of important things, but you know, one step at a time here. We've got I guess eight prisoners coming tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, actually, you know what? Hang on. I need to uh, say I actually only want medium security at least at the moment. I don't want minimum security because I feel like they don't pay enough. So we go medium only, we need eight of them. Well, I could probably say grab all of these and I can just clone it straight up the top. Now, is this prison even secure? Like I have not actually checked that. <laughs> I, have, 
I have no idea. We don't have deployment. I mean, it is. There's doors, but like, I mean, there's no wall around this place. They could easily get out. Well, well, you know, let's just see how we go. Let's have fun with it. Look, once we unlock security, I can at least like deploy some people and, you know, do some more stuff. All right, so now I can hire the security guard, but I don't have another office, which is actually a problem. <laughs> so I should probably uh, sort that out. Uh, I could probably, you know, I could put it here. Here's what I'll do. I'll have a wall there. Actually, that could be an, oh, actually, you know what? This could, oh, that's that actually works really well. I can move the psychologist to here because then we can have prisoners access a psychologist and I can have another office here for just whoever. That actually, you know what? That actually worked really, really well. I'm happy with that. So I'm just going to copy the warden's office and put it uh, there. And then I'm going to copy your office Whoops. and put it, oh, it doesn't rotate the filing cabinets unless I actually put them the wrong way here. Oh, I did. <laughs> Sorry. There you go. All right, and then I need a door, obviously, to get into that room. So staffed all there. This one will just be a wooden door because we want um, other people to be able to get into it. So let's let those be built. I'm going to prioritize these because I actually need these to be built so that... Oh, yeah, we got lights coming into those rooms. Oh, yeah, the, the doctors don't have any lights. Sorry, guys. <laughs> How's my power thing actually going, by the way? It's okay. Oh, I, I might actually get some metal detectors for the cell here as well. Just, you know, as you come and go. Probably a good idea. Now, I think you guys are stuck because I've accidentally built... Yeah, yeah. I accidentally built... Because uh, I cloned the wall. So I'm just going to put a wooden door there. Then we'll have to remove that later. That's right. <laughs> it's my bad. Let's do that first, please. All right. So what I'm going to do now is going to go uh, rooms, office. I'm going to remove that office. Remove that office. So that should swap to this one. Yeah, there you go. Then we put... Oh, wait. No, I didn't want him to go to that one. That was my bad. I want him to go to that one. Sorry. Yeah, you go to that one. There we go. And then we can put these two back. And then I need to hire a chief, which is he's taking that office. Okay, <laughs> whatever. And then the chief can get deployment and he can get intelligence and patrols and well, really everything. He needs to do all of this. Remote access is also very good. It's quite expensive at this point in time. Though, so let's not rush too much into that. Uh, and probably surveillance is a good one. Oh, and also maybe prison policy. How do I not have that? All right, so I spent a bunch of money on those right now. So can they get into this area now? I think they can. Okay, good. Let's plug those in. Oh yeah, can I get, I can get cleaners now, right? No, not yet. Oh no, I can, sorry. Two janitors and I need a gardener, which we don't have gardeners yet, nearly there. Now the regime, I haven't even looked at that actually. Uh, we just got the default, lock up, shower, lock up. Okay, well, we don't need to do that. Let's, let's, um, let's change it. So there's no point having a lock up. We might as well just have honestly free time because they can shower in their own cell and do their own thing. And then let's have two hours of yard time, then eight, and then more yard time, and then free time, and then free time before bed, and then sleep. So that's what we're gonna go. I'm just gonna keep it pretty breezy for now because we don't have any programs or anything like that yet. Uh, we're just gonna start off nice and breezy. All right, so we should have the prisoners arriving at 8 a.m. So in two hours, we have eight prisoners coming, which I, had, I don't think we're particularly prepared for in this prison. Uh, I might get some more guards. We only have four. I'm gonna get eight guards. Although I only have eight prisoners, so maybe that's a little overkill. <laughs> we will have 16 prisoners though. All right, one out. Oh, wait, we have 14 coming now because a bunch of these cells just completed. If you finish those two, we'll have a full 16 coming. Now, none of those are plumbed into anything, so probably do that as well. Let's plumb in all the hot water, and then let's plumb in all the water pipes. Uh-oh. A power station. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, we should generate our own power. That's what we should do. That'll be good. Get another three of those. Oh, wow. We have a real queue. I guess I should probably... I, I could have hired... Oh, this guy's trapped in there. What are you doing, buddy? Get out of there, man. Get out of there. Doors. Uh, I'll get you a double wooden door. There you go. All right, we have 15 prisoners coming. Wait, it says they're coming tomorrow? Wait, what about today? Hmm. They may not... They may be stuck in traffic, to be honest. Let's see. They should arrive. <laughs> we have so many trucks. Hang on. Do they really not come today? Well, we completed a grant, which is nice. Why are these trucks so empty, by the way? Like, can you put some more stuff on them? Okay, can we get this guy out of there? Because <laughs> one of my seven workers can't even work. Let's get some more workers. I don't know why I didn't do this earlier. Let's get let's double the workforce. Okay, yeah, the prisoners actually didn't come today because there was I think there's too many trucks, maybe. Oh, no, there they are. Yeah! At least eight of them. Oh, here they are. Six. Okay, so we got 14 is actually what we got. All right, well, hang on. Let's have a look. So we do have deployment now, which is good. So what we're going to do, we're going to say um, guard area. Prioritize guard area. Oh, that's good. Oh, so these are... I, I don't know when these are added, but... So we can prioritize, say, this is mostly a guard area. Okay, so they'll, they'll prioritize an area. Be like, okay, we definitely need guards in that area. 
but it's not necessarily saying to assign, ah, okay, so we can be like, we need guards there, but only if you're available kind of thing. Okay, cool. All right, so, well, first of all, staff only, all this area down here, uh, and that, and this, and this. I think reception can be staff only. I think that's fine. Um, kitchen for now, because we don't have anyone that can work there. And then the rest of this is pretty much fair game. Oh, you can assign doctors? Oh, cool. That makes sense. Assign cooks. Oh, that's handy too. I'm so glad they added that. All right, assign guards. I guess, should we should we do it at times or just wherever? I'm just going to leave them wherever for now. That's my plan. All righty. Here come the prisoners. All right, in you come. Oh, yeah, look at that uniform color. That's I can't remember what color we chose, but that's the color. I. You know, it's a shame that they didn't actually change the folded uniform color to match the one we picked. All right, so they get stripped down, searched. Make sure they're all good. Oh, someone's brought alcohol in. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. Yeah, okay. Now we're, having, now we're having issues with doors. Oh, actually, so something new that was added, which is not necessarily a good thing. I mean, it is a good thing that they added it. It's in somewhere. Is it in here? No. Is it in policy? Ah, here we go. Allow staff keys. If enabled, all hired staff members will carry keys. So that means like workers can carry a set of keys. Obviously the downside to that is if a, a prisoner just like punched a work a workman and took their keys, then they can just walk out. Um, so there is a downside, but I guess if the prison danger level is quite low, have, them having keys might be okay. So I'm, I'm going to give all my staff keys right now. Just so they don't need guards to let them in and out, which I think is so cool. That's so handy. I mean, obviously that could be a real downside, but you just don't know. All right, my workmen are working very slowly as getting this up and up and going. Um, so all the hot water pipes are in, but I need the small pipes. So let's get these going. Oh, and that radiator. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm going to... Uh-oh. What? This prison requires solitary... Oh, right. Mm, yeah, we don't have solitary. Okay, well, I'll do that in a second. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to move, hang on, the radiator actually to the top because that, you know, makes way more sense being next to the actual water boiler. And I also do need to just remove this wall. That wall is only there because of an accident, <laughs> basically. So that shouldn't even be there. And that door, dismantle. Yeah, okay, so solitary. Maybe we built up here because we've built down a little bit this way. So maybe we should build up a little bit that way. You can come through here and then I got to, okay, you got to be really careful when building with prisoners already in here. Because if I were to click and drag from here, it would actually destroy that wall. Not right away, but they will destroy it and they will definitely get out. Um, I'm actually not sure if I build here. I think it leaves the wall. I cannot guarantee that though. All right, so I went three further down from there. So let's go one, two, three. So I'm not going to build this whole thing. I'm going to build like this now and really hope that that doesn't destroy that wall. <laughs> I'm going to build a wall there. So we'll, we'll, I mean, we'll see what happens. We, we can't have a mass exodus on day one, right? Oh yeah, there's not like nothing in the yard. You guys want something to do out here? Yeah, I'm going to give you guys some bleachers that, to chill on. And then you can have an outdoor table over it. Hmm. I don't want to block the doors. I, don't, I also don't like those bleachers. I'm going to move those. Do outdoor tables here and here. And then we're going to do a oh, chest table. That should probably be inside the tire stack. Oh, I'll walk around. Weights, benches. Okay, let's get some of those. Do like a little gym zone down there. And then maybe we can get some... Can these go outside? I think they're fine. Although they should probably be in the common room. Is actually going to be in here. So I'm going to put a bunch of them there. Get some punching bags as well. You know, I need to get that anger out. Um, oh, pool table. They're going to have a sweet pool table. I also did see there was like a ping pong table, right? Table tennis, foosball. Look at all this. This is great. They're going to love this. They're going to love this. Got a drink machine in the canteen as well. Drinks machine there. Oh, a snack machine. Got a snack machine in the common room. Maybe over here we got like a couple of them. Water cooler. Ah, oh, treadmills. Oh, wait. There's a whole, there's actually a gymnasium room now. Oh. I guess we're set, we should probably put it in a gymnasium. All right, well, anyway, we'll leave that stuff there for now. They have a cool yard. They got like all this out here. You guys want to mingle with each other? I'd like to see some of you guys using this stuff. It'd be cool. Oh, I suppose we don't actually need this door to be like locked. I'm actually going to lock it open because I feel like that's fine. That's fine for now. All right, what am I doing? Uh, <laughs> hire a gardener. That's right. Gardener. Oh, that's not a gardener. Ga gardener. There we go. All right, so they're going to garden, and I guess we should probably get some more grants. I feel like we should do visitation. Oh, that's what I was doing. Sorry, I forgot about you, buddy. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Hang on, let me do this first. Quiet an entrance. Okay, let's do a door. So this is where visit... Oh, not visitation. What am I talking about? This is where solitary is going to be. So we're going to have a uh, jail door. 
Yeah, sure, we'll do a jail door. Door secure. Solitary door. Door designed for solitary cells featuring a food flap. Guards delivering food may pass the tray through the door without needing to enter the cell. Now we said door to stop the strongest of prisoners from escaping. Okay, well this can be the door to the solitary building. And then we can use these for the solitary cell. Get some pathways through this area here too. And you know what? I'm gonna do grass side of the side of it because I think that always looks good. What do you have? A, a can of beer? Is that what that is? Or I don't know, just a, like soda? <laughs> All right, so this is where solitary will be. So normally in the past I've done solitary as like oh we should do like a padded wall where's the padded walls wall white oh isn't there actually a room type it's like a padded cell or something hang on padded solitary cell yeah <laughs> so we're gonna i want to do like a two by twos here so like that oh i've kind of not built this room at the best size but yeah like that also that oh yeah it's not really gonna yeah, I mean, this whole room really doesn't work for the two by two. So hang on, we could do it maybe at the end of the room. Yeah, I mean, that's not really great, is it? Just, yeah, none of this really fits. <laughs> it doesn't really fit. Okay, well, let's do... <sighs> I'm really not happy with this. Uh, hmm. we're, we're gonna have to move. We'll, we'll move this. But for now, because we just need the one, I'm gonna put it here and we'll do solitary door. Now, I don't normally put anything in solitary, I guess. Oh, the paving stones actually don't look very good next to the grass because... Damn, you have mobile phones and all that? Um, because it sort of like fades into the grass, which I don't really like. I might do actually concrete tiles as the pathway instead. Now, what light options do we have? Because there's a lot. Light, floodlight, wall light, solar, light lamp, light green, wall light. Does this work outside? Oh, I don't think... Oh, wait. I guess it does. If I do two of these... Oh, there's a jail bars there. <laughs> if I do some of these outside, will that be enough? I guess... Let me get a gauge. I'm not sure how many I need. Oh, I should probably... Oh, okay. Apparently a solitary... Padded cell does not count as solitary, as a solitary cell as well. All right. I thought it'd be nice for them to have padded walls. At least it's kind of comfy. I'm going to give them some lights in this room. I'll give them padded flooring though. Even though we can't do a padded cell. All right. So they're in there. They've got no... <laughs> That's so sad. There's no electricity or anything in there. It's just so dark. And there's nothing in here at all. No, they're only in there for an hour. I'd argue they had more punishment sitting in reception just waiting for us to build solitary than actually going to solitary. Oh yeah, that's better. And those little wall lights, very nice. Okay, I like those wall lights. I'm gonna get them here and here. I'm gonna, yeah, I'll get them next to these little doors. I quite like that. Like that. And then we'll get them here and here. And one in here and maybe... I won't do one at the end because we'll probably expand out that way. I guess we should probably get some lights for here. Or like floodlights for the... No, uh, I don't... Hmm. I don't really like that they... Because they're quite tall. I do like them, but I think they would probably work better in like a more open yard. Like this yard is quite contained in the middle of the prison here. So it, it, like, it, for example, if I put this in, it sort of covers, you know, part of the canteen. I don't like how it's sort of, you know, so tall. All right. I mean, it doesn't provide that much light, but you know, it's it's something. Oh yeah, I should probably actually specify this as a common room because I haven't done that. And it means that they don't really use the stuff there, which is why they're not using any of it. Uh, common room, there we go. So this is a common room. Um, and I'll also do, so we could set up like AA meetings and stuff. I'll just get a bunch of chairs here. So when we actually get into all the reform part of this DLC, should I have, I don't think I've, have I touched anything in the new DLC? I don't know, but this is, you know, we're starting a new prison for the DLC, so. We'll get there. We've got two new prisoners coming very shortly, which is nice. Let's check the temperature everywhere. Looking good. I guess the only place that's cold is for the staff, but I don't think, because we, we don't have staff needs on. I don't think that matters. Oh, this guy's so cold. Okay, that's actually just cruel. I'm sorry. Uh, I forgot. That's why I checked, because I forgot. Um, sorry, buddy. <laughs> So that's, so, that's so bad. Our prisoners look a little untidy. What is that supposed to mean? What do you mean? What does that mean? Hygiene is very important. It's essential. Make sure your prisoners have plenty of time to catch it. They have like free time and showers in their own room. They have plenty of time to shower. Maybe I need to make them shower. <laughs> Maybe I'll add it into the regime. Let's say shower time now, everybody. Go shower, please. No, no, no. Like use your own showers. There you go. So you're showering. Okay. I think some of them use this and some of them have been using their own showers. Where are all my prisoners? I have 16 of them, but there's like a few of them in here, I guess, which is kind of a little dangerous. <laughs> I feel like they shouldn't be in there unsupervised. I kind of, I'm going to, I kind of want to get rid of the shower block here. I think what I'm going to do, actually move it here and then do that. And then I'm going to get rid of this room because I don't want that to be a shower. So I'll give them a shower in the holding cell like that and we'll give them some heated water. And then these, this could probably be turned into a cleaning cupboard because then we could actually have uh, some of our staff working cleaning and actually get some reform up and running. Probably should have a door as well. Okay, so actually speaking of the DLC, if we click on these guys, I believe here. Yeah, so this is new, or at least like the information here. So this guy's actually come to my prison with 50% experience already in craftsmanship. 
So that means he can directly work in a workshop without having to do a workshop safety course, which is pretty awesome. So this, let's have a look around. So this person here has 50% in customer experience. That means he could work, I think in the restaurant or the bakery, right? Oh, or take part in the three strikes program, which is a new program. Um, yeah, so they can come in and already be like equipped for jobs. Oh, the cleaning cup is too small. Damn it. All right. Well, I don't know what we're going to use that room for. I might just have to <laughs> become part of one of these other rooms. But yeah, so that's kind of, those are some of the new things. Oh, you know what? We could make it. Actually, no, it's a bad idea. I was going to say we can make it storage, but it's like kind of in the prison. I'm just going to not have that as anything. All right. So that's good. We got some bleach coming in. Fantastic. I think I'll leave this here. I know we didn't really get to too much of the uh, the new stuff, or really any of it. We we looked at it. You know, it's there. We just had to get started. This is the beginning of a Let's Play, and it's exciting times. So we need to build... Well, we got to research it, I guess, right? Or unlock it. The restaurant and the bakery. And then also, I want to do all the farming stuff, because we haven't done that yet. So with farming, we can provide our own fresh food for the kitchen, for the canteen. Also, we can use that to provide food for the restaurant, and we can also, with the that one, uh, DLC, produce our own power and actually sell power back to the grid. So there's a lot of new stuff, but I think we just needed to get up and running, which we have. And we are making money, but we'll be back next time with more Prison Architect. Let me know in the comments down below um, all the mistakes I made. And now I know, first of all, before you let me know about my mistakes, this is not a perfectly designed prison or perfectly min-max to take advantage of everything this game has to offer. Clearly, it's not. Um, clearly, I just slapped down some stuff to get going. But I, I do enjoy the challenge of, like, renovating and changing the prison like we did in our last series a while ago where we sort of just added stuff and then we had to adjust and go back and, you know, and change things as we went. I don't know. I really enjoy that sort of aspect to it. As, as much fun as planning out an entire prison is, like we have done in the past as well, I kind of like this approach. I also think we need a laundry because we've got a lot of dirty uniforms just hanging around. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. And have an awesome day.